Today we will see some examples related to net of 3D shapes. Each side of the solid shown below is of 3 cm. Draw the net of the solid. Net is a skeleton outline or framework made in 2D which when folded results in a 3D shape. Let us draw the net of the solid shape shown. The solid shape shown is a triangular pyramid. It has a total of four faces, all triangular. There is a triangle on each of the three sides of the triangular base. To draw a net, we will first draw a triangular base with all sides equal. Now, we will draw an equilateral triangle on one side of this triangle whose side is equal to the side of the base. Similarly, we will draw the triangle of the measure of the base on the remaining two sides. In this way, we have drawn the net for the triangular pyramid. Example 2 The lengths of all the rectangles shown in the following nets are 7 cm and width 4 cm and all the triangles shown are equilateral triangles whose sides measure 4 cm. Find out which nets can be used to construct a triangular prism. We know that a triangular prism has two triangular faces as a prism base and three rectangular side faces. The three nets shown here have two triangles and three rectangle shaped flat surface. Let's talk about the figure first. For convenience, we will name various nets. We will fold the triangle PED along the line segment DE in such a way that it is perpendicular to the rectangle DEFC. Similarly, we will be folding triangle QCF along the line segment CF in such a way that it is perpendicular to the rectangle DEFC. Now, we will fold the rectangle ABCD along the side CD such that its side AD is attached to arm PD of triangle PED and the side BC is to be attached to arm QC of triangle QCF. Similarly, we will fold the rectangle EFGH along the side of EF in such a way that its side EH is attached to arm PE of triangle PED and the side FG is attached to the arm QF of triangle QCF. In this way, we will get a triangular prism. Similarly, if we fold the second shape, in this case, also we will get a triangular prism. Now, draw the third shape on a cardboard. Cut it out of the cardboard and fold it to make a triangular prism. You will be able to know that in this case, you will not get a triangular prism. Therefore, we can say that only the net shown in the first and second figure can be used to make a triangular prism. Can you explain why? Think, think. Let us tell you, in a triangular prism, both triangles are on the opposite sides, while both the triangles are adjacent in the net shown in the third figure. Similarly, both triangles 
of a triangular prism have no vertices common while the triangles in the figure shown have a vertex common therefore in any way a triangular prism cannot be formed using third net Example 3 The nets shown represent which solid shapes Let's talk about the first figure If we rotate one of its straight sides to the other straight side the curved part takes the form of a circle By folding the circular shaped plate we cover the open area This gives us the shape of a cone Let's talk about another shape. We will fold the rectangle in a circular form towards the width and cover the open parts with circular shaped plates. From this, we will get a cylinder. Now, you yourself find out which three-dimensional shape will be obtained from the net shown in the third figure. So today, we saw some examples related to the nets of 3D shapes. In the next video, we will clear up some misconceptions. Trends. Trends.